Hello everyone, EastFlanjin11 here, back again for another video, and today I'm very excited for this video as recently I picked up some Thomas stuff at a garage sale recently, so let's take a look at all this stuff here. First we're going to start small. Here's some Tomy stuff that I picked up. I didn't really need to pick this stuff up, but ever since I got that Tomy lot back in around like September of last year, I just kind of have a soft spot for the stuff now more than I did before. So I decided to pick these two things up, the Sodor Ice Van and the Black Brake Van. Even though I didn't need the Black Brake Van, I decided to pick it up anyway. And of course the Sodor Ice Van looks pretty cool, even though it's pretty much a recolor of the Tommy version of the Sodor Mail Cars, but hey, I'm not going to complain about that. Next, let's get to the Take and Play stuff, and let's start with Thomas. Here we got two Thomases, a Dirty Thomas with a different expression, and a CGI Thomas. I technically already have one of these Thomases with a different face, but it's a little bit more dirty, and I decided just to pick it up just because. Even though I have a custom of a CGI Thomas, I decided to pick up this CGI version of Thomas as well, and I honestly might customize it, you know, as I honestly very much like it a lot. And next we have this take and play truck. Now, I think you might know the reason I got this. I'm pretty much going to chop off the face and use it for one of my, you know, wooden railway custom trucks, but hey, you know, it looks pretty cool for now, and of course I'm really happy to have it and that I'm going to be using it. Next up we got Feels Freddy. Now the reason I picked him up was because, well, two reasons. One, I used my old Feels Freddy face for um, Jim a couple of years ago, and second of all, I think I tried turning this version into a custom Ivo Hue at one point but then completely turned it into a scrap model. So I decided to pick this Freddy up to replace my older one, and I'm very happy I did. Now finally, for the take and play stuff, we have Arthur, Murdoch, and Molly. Now, let's start with Molly. Even though Molly technically had her tender when I saw her at the garage sale, I decided not to get it because the only reason I got Molly was for her face. Now, t you all might know that I already gave my Molly um, a different a take and play face instead of her average wooden railway one but I know this face is well it wasn't the eyebrows were missing the eyes didn't look good so yeah I, I'm pretty much gonna be replacing Molly's face again but with a different and a better take and play Molly face now Arthur and Murdoch I decided to pick these guys up because they just look so cool and take and play not to mention there's so many you know similarities between them I both love their themes, they were both introduced in Season 7, they each have the same whistle, uh, Murdoch was going to be uh, originally maroon, there's a lot of you know similarities between these two. Murdoch is a, pretty much a good free roller, and Arthur would free roll a lot better if one of his wheels wasn't jammed in one place, a few places. So I'm gonna have to fix that, but for now, you know, they both look very great and aesthetically pleasing. But now, here we come to the main course of this video, all the wooden railway stuff that I have here today. Even though I want to start small, I'm going to start with the two Thomases. I picked these two up just for the sole fact, just in case if I needed them for, you know, a project later down the road. I mean, I am happy. There were a few more Thomases, at least wooden railway versions, and more take and play ones laying in there, but I decided to pick up two because it seemed like an appropriate number. Next is this cargo car. There's nothing really special about it, but obviously I love circus cars and cargo cars because you can unscrew the chassis and I can use them for other customs, so, you know, that's a score there. And then we have this baggage car. Now you may be saying, useful, this is the baggage car you've had for a while now. Well, you're technically mistaken, as I found another baggage car in that lot and I decided to pick it up. I originally wanted to turn this into the ULP van, even though it's not he's not really a character, but he's a pretty interesting piece of rolling stock nonetheless. But I think I'm going to hold off on that. 
and I'm going to keep this baggage car the way it is because they both look really, really good together. Next up, we have this very, very weird Toby model. Where do I even start? The side plates and the roof are uh, different types of grays. The wheels are actually roadway wheels. The magnet guards aren't, you know, totally down all the way. Toby's crooked on one side. His nails are poking up. His mouth is colored a little bit of white, and his face is crooked. Yeah, this is definitely a factory error, Toby. That's the re main reason why I picked this thing up, and I'm very happy to have it. Next, we have Stanley. WELCOME, STANLEY! I decided to pick this up, well, just the same reason I decided to pick up the Thomases, just in case if I need it for a project down the road. But it is very ironic, honestly, and kind of funny, considering the fact I literally bought the Mattel version not that long ago. So yeah, kind of happy to have this model, and I'm not going to do anything to it as of now, but I'm honestly just happy to, you know, have two versions of Stanley, honestly. Now, one thing I was very happy to see was Old Slow Coach lying amongst all the other items. Old Slow Coach, funnily enough, is one of those items I was going to pick up this year, as she was definitely on my list of characters I needed to get. However, I was able to cheap it out and get her for a good price, as most of this stuff cost me $40 anyway, but, you know. Even though she's a bit scratched in a few areas, I honestly don't mind, as she is an older coach. Her front is a little bit loose, but I will fix that in time. And I also need to update her eyebrows as they are fading away a little bit, but the lines are technically still there, so... Overall, I'm very happy to finally have Old Slow Coach. And finally, the biggest thing I got was a wooden railway water tower. Now, technically, I have actually made an official, you know, a better looking water tower, but I don't really have that many wooden railway destinations. I now have this water tower. I did a review recently on the coal station. I have the red version of the roundabout turntable. And I also, sadly, have the bubble loader. But it was nice for me to pick this up, as I've been wanting to get more wooden railway type destinations, and hopefully that can be a trend this year. So, yeah. Overall, that's pretty much everything I got, and I'm very happy with all the stuff that I managed to pick up. There was more stuff there, but I decided to only pick up the bare essential things that I was actually absolutely positive I would need. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. So, without further ado, Useful Engine 11, signing out. Take care everyone, and I'll see you all next time.